What's up guys? Welcome back, I'm Daily Fix, and yes, you might have noticed this already, we are just in a new save file. I I've made a lot of mistakes, uh, which I'm not proud of, I've actually been practicing a bit. So, I it might be that this very first episode is going to be a bit late, but we'll see how that will go. So, let me explain what I want to be doing, because we're, we're just going to repeat some of the steps that I've already done. Uh, Byzantium, Vassal, returning course from the Ottomans. Uh, I also want to make sure that I get into a position where I could inherit Burgundy and all of this territory. When we've got the Iberian Wedding, Burgundy, Portugal, we move into England. So we get the English Channel. And I would also like to get Naples under a PU, if possible. I, I know that he has the... Um, He's now under a personal union of Aragon, that would change, but this guy is still part of our family. So, if he doesn't have an heir, we could say we claim his throne and attack him. So, that is definitely something that I want to be looking into. So, for now, I don't want to spend an entire time talking. So, we'll just be playing the game. Hopefully, you don't mind that I'm restarting again. Um, and I will ask you, if you're watching this later on YouTube... Please uh, consider hitting that like button, it will help out my channel immensely and hopefully you guys will guide me into the right directions. So what I'll do usually is just get these guys walking all the way down there. I want to make sure that my light chips are going to be protecting trade in the Shavia node. And these guys that will be moving over there uh, because we'll be using them to get into Byzantium. Also, I would like to get up to my naval force limit. So we'll be buying two more light ships. Let's just do that. Where is the um, the lowest amount? Because some of these areas actually have a lower amount. Like 350, 343 and 350 are the two lowest amounts. Uh, we will lose a naval force limit at some point. I'm not sure why that is, but it, it is just how it is. We're not building more infantry because I kind of don't need to. What we will do is use our army professionalism to um, get more manpower. This will get you in your 60%. You can then make sure you set your rivals. And I'm kind of thinking about setting up like friends. Uh, Morocco and possibly Portugal. No, not really Portugal. You know what, let's go with England. It's fine. It, it doesn't really matter if, if we help them or not. What we want to be doing is trying to force France into a weaker position. As for alliances, uh, we're going for Aragon. We'll have to wait a day before we can send out another alliance offer towards Burgundy. In the early stages, I want to make sure that I build up spy network on Byzantium. Improve relations with the the Mamluks because we need them against the Ottomans because it's just absolutely lovely how that goes. Uh, Austria will get into that later. Eventually, we'll want to form an alliance and see how that goes. We'll be taking crown land back. Summon a diet. The Papal State's opinion on Castile actually getting that. Is quite nice. Uh, Burgundy's opinion of Castile is at 100. I love this one. This is so good. Because we're going to be sending him an alliance offer. So he will get a higher uh, relation with us uh, once we skip a day. Clarity. I like to give away all the monopolies. Because I think that mercantilism is extremely important. Uh, oversight by the clerisy, and I would like to get the additional admin. That will lower all of this again. But we, since we've already taken land, we're just giving it back again. So the clerisy will gain another um, uh, admin point. We'll do that as well with the nobility as well as the burghers. So for the nobility, once again, we're going to give away all of the monopolies. Uh, supremacy over the crown, because this will actually help you with your clerisy. And your burgers, which is just great. We'll leave the one open until we can go with the uh, monthly military power. For the burgers, 
uh, the Monopoly on Glass textiles. You could use your ship's trading power. I think it's quite nice later on if you do that. I think that's quite a nice one. Uh, also, the exclusive trading rights is quite useful. I like the uh, the patronage of the art because you will gain more uh, yearly prestige. But prestige, I hope, is not going to be an issue. So we'll leave two slots open. I have no real need to do anything with those. So that will not go. As for advisors. Uh, morale of armies. Yes please. I like that one. We have improved relations. Spy network construction. I think the improving relations is useful. But building up spy network right now. Especially since spy network will help you with your sieges. Is quite good. And we'll go for... We could do a yearly inflation reduction. But my inflation is like really low. And it just goes up by 0.04 per year. So yeah, that's, we don't need to do that one. Missionary strength. No, yearly prestige plus one. So that's quite nice. And that combined with the patronage of the ARF could be very, very good. I like that one so far. So we're building those ships, we're moving those guys. We'll get into mercenaries later because we do want to get the claims on Granada from the uh, the mission tree over here. Morale of armies and morale of navies plus five. Actually, it would be quite nice if we could get that in our very first war. But I would like to build my mercenaries in, in Byzantium itself. I don't want to get any... Military access for the Ottomans because that will also allow his ally. And I think his ally is most likely going to be Serbia. So yeah, we'll just see about when that goes. For now, let us just uh, skip a day. So let's go to day 12. Let's go to Burgundy. Alliance actions. Negative 5 because he hates Aragon. Uh, no diplomat descent. Okay. We'll improve relations with him for now. Oh, wait a minute. Can we do this? No. Let's improve. And we'll make sure we get that alliance going on them. Let's just speed up the game till... We can either go to four. Four is actually not too bad if we do that. So let's do that. I'll try to be a bit more... A bit faster this time. Also, I actually slept. So, hey Triple, how are you doing mate? Hope you're doing well. So, uh, tomorrow, Monday, um, it's the cars removing, right? Or how does it go again? So, let these guys move. Everything is on the move as well. Now, talk about ideas. Um, so, again, I would like to get with uh, exploration ideas uh, early on. So, we can go for the quest for the new worlds. I want religious. Uh, last time I got with admin ideas, I don't think that's going to be the smartest of decisions. And I know I've already been told by... Um, by Matthew, that I should go with expansion ideas. I kind of don't want to. Although, the additional diplomatic relation would be quite nice. I haven't had a cast. Oh, so tomorrow, Monday, you can actually start moving again. That's really good. So, maybe we should go expansion. But, I kind of want to get religious. So, we can start moving into all of this area. And, Europe doesn't really mind. At least, we get... Oh wow, well, that 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 would I that would be nice. <laughs> um, I would like to get diplomatic ideas because we kind of do need the uh, additional diplo relation and also influence ideas for the diplo relation. So that would be one, two, three extra relations, and with all the personal unions, that would be quite nice. Military ideas. Uh, quality is quite nice because we will be going into ships quite a bit and the siege ability is going to be absolutely good. And we'll just see for what we need. If we, if we are very shy on manpower, we can always go with quality. Or we can go with maybe a wrist. Nah, I don't like the calf. Military cost negative 10. Absolutism plus 0.5 is quite nice. National manpower modified by 33%. Maybe, maybe we should go for aristocratic ideas. Aristocratic ideas, I'm sorry. You know when my English man. Started walking without crutches today. Tomorrow is Sunday. I thought you... Oh, actually, yeah, that's true, man. Um, I thought you 
were allowed to get started walking again on the Monday. So, anyways, guys, if you're watching this later on YouTube again, don't 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 forget, please, please hit that subscribe and and please hit that like button, especially the like button. If you don't want want to subscribe, I'm completely fine with that. Uh, but liking does really help me. So while everything is going, let, let's just continue. Uh, we'll wait. I uh, don't get the alliance with Portugal. Uh, we'll wait here for the alliance with the burgers. That is still negative five because the month didn't go. Oh, that's kind of bad. Um... Ah, the Calaris is going to be so pissed. Get the Royal Marriage with Aragon, and we're going to be um, in disinheriting this this guy because he's just... Oh, okay, because of the event. We can't do that. Let's wait there. Um, England and France are, of course, at war again. Uh, do we want burgers or clarity? National tax or goods? National uh, trade. Uh, let's go with the clarity. Burgers are going to be pissed for a while. It is what it is. They, they will get over it. Let's get our leader in there. Disinherit this fella. Let's see. You're on negative one. So next month we can actually get started on that. Uh, I would really like to time this correctly. Uh, but for now, let's just get these guys into a ship. Mm, no. We'll wait until those um, those other ships are done. But we'll set in the uh, the other trade ships to merge with my fleet today. Uh, start walking with a crutch. That's really good. How did it go? How did it go? Uh, Aragon apparently did join in the war against England. So he's allied with friends. There is this Aragon, right? Who the hell is this? Oh, it's this duchy. Wow. Oh, that's confusing like hell. <laughs> that's really confusing. So that's going to be nice. Burgundy, come on, man. Stop being such an absolute, absolute douche. You're going to love me. I know you will. You will love me, dude. A lot more than you think. I hope. <laughs> we do want to inherit this guy. There we go. Let's uh, stop that. Get him back. And Aragon did just lose Naples, which is just annoying. So right now he's on 70 with the royal marriage that we're going to be giving him. Uh, he'll be at 100 and we'll have the... I think the Berg is happy again. Yeah, that will probably happen. So we'll keep this guy over there. Let's get my fleets merged. Move these guys in there. And we'll send you over there. And we'll start uh, sieging this down. Uh, we'll have to reinforce this. And eventually we'll drop people here on Constantinople. If we could, I would like to drop them in right over there. Not having the access with the Ottomans does make it very hard for them to actually move themselves into a position... Where they could defend from that. So let's see how we can do this. There's three ships there. How many are there? Eleven. Oh, that would be so bad if I lost this. There's five. Yeah, that's almost everything they have. Let's just test it out. We're early into this, so we might as well go for it, right? So let's get started on the declaration of war. Serbia is going to join. None of the others will. Let's confirm this. No causes bell. We'll drop the stability by two. And transport my guys who have a general over there. We'll immediately start the fight. I hope he's not going to attack me. The second we get there, we're going to be moving the fleet out. This will last forever, this siege, but it will be fine. There we go. That's the fight. Let's move my ships out. Right over there again. Move you guys up. I should... Mothball my fortress and I will forget a lot of times. So hopefully you guys will remind me with that. I still think... Uh, do you guys hear the audio? Are you hearing the music of this game? Uh, let me know if it is. Because I'm slightly tempted to increase the volume of it. Also, speaking of sounds... Let's go to shuffle. 
this fight we will definitely we'll get a negative two but my morale is better and uh, we are just outnumbering them in terms of trips that's i believe a wipe so this guy is going to be there for a while the other guy is going to be our ruler it's risky he has a siege pip which is just love it we'll merge those guys up and uh, we're going to be saving to get our stability back. You, can we do something with you? The dynasty, there's royal marriage. 95, we do want to keep increasing our relation with him. So the ninth fiend, we can actually do that. Let's group you guys up. Okay, we'll have to keep checking if they get a uh, military access with the Ottomans. So just hover over them, selecting a unit. And uh, the next alliance is going to be with the Memlucks, who are about a hundred shy, but they have too many diplomatic relations, so that eventually will change. We are at war, so we cannot uh, put money into estuaries. We'll save up for now, since we do want to get mercenaries. You. Heal up. Do we want to heal you up right now? Hmm... How long until my ships are ready? So they're almost ready. Let's just wait here for a month. And get those two lights in there. That's one. And there's the other one. Move you over there. So let's group you guys up. Yeah, I think they're more than capable now. So let's get our units, let's drop them down there, and we'll just drop these guys over there. There's 6k there, will be attacking us, but that's fine, who cares about that anyways, right? There you go, so they're merging the groups together, they won't be attacking this. They already lost almost all of their armies, this is, yeah, that's Serbia mainly. They got 6,000 troops left and we're landing 10,000 right now. Negative 2, negative 1, it's not going to be pretty. But we're just going to land here. We have two active cardinals now. That's good. That's really good. I like it. So we've got one free lad over there. Let's go to Burgundy. Improve relations. We do need 100. Uh, one more. And then we're going to be hoarding prestige for the uh, inheritance perhaps in the future. We know it comes there. Once he is um, at full capacity, he will be uh, doing that siege. So there we go. 9k, just dropping down. You get back out there. Get the other troops. I don't want to lose any ships, so we'll have to be careful. And I don't want Byzantium to lose ships either. And we need to hurry this up because uh, the Ottomans are going to be very annoying. They're building troops. I don't want that. So, that will stop that. And we'll use one of our infantry. No. Use, use the infantry. Stand over there so that you can't build troops over there. And you guys are now going to be transported over there. And because we have this port, we don't have to wait until they land. The 4k is going to be enough to attack that. And we'll start sieging everything down. We have 122 is there an advisor? Hmm. Well, there's plenty of advisors, but not the one they want. Improve relationship, diplomatic renown. That's so sad. Uh, we want to buy this upwards. Because the stability is quite annoying. There you go. National unrest plus 4%. Interest, yearly legitimacy, and foreign spy detection, global trade power. Actually, maybe this is not too bad right now. The yearly legitimacy is a bit annoying to deal with, but you can always buy it up with military points later. Doctrine. Eventually, I would like to get the um, the naval maintenance modifier and eventually going into the Grand Armada. That would be cool. That would be very, very cool. So, let's get started. Uh, let's hope that we can actually finish this war. He is at 9,000 right now. So, this siege is actually taking progress. Um, okay, let's be careful here. Let's see what he will do. I'm kind of hoping that he will move his ships. 
if he could really move his ships. Actually, let's take the fight up to that toast free. He won't be able to reinforce that in time. And there we go. Let us... This is a level 2, so we need 6k. Let's get you over there. If you would be so damn kind to... No, you're not kind. Oh, that is annoying. Mm. Actually, I believe that if we merge them up right now, we can move them back. Yeah, we can. I don't know how it actually worked, but someone uh, was telling me that there is this movement bug, and if you move um, out of that zone, you can always go back to where you came from. It's sort of like your retreat option or something. Let's group you guys up. We got our king over here. That's 9k. We want to get started in this fight. It's going to be nasty, though. Let's see. How bad is it? Actually, it, it's, it's not as bad as I... Was believing of it. Let us shift consolidate so we don't lose too many troops. Let's move those guys. Let's move the the calf as well. And we'll use one more troop. So they can uh, replenish those guys. We have a siege guy in here, right? And yeah, he's going to stay there. That's nice. You guys go over here. And I kind of want to get my horses out of this and just use my infantry. I need to leave one horse. Oh, damn, I did not want to do that. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll um, group you guys up. Let's see, that's four. Let's see, that's six. We'll build more infantry. Move you over there. Or we can merc up with... I need 11. Can we get 11? I would like to get this uh, this 8 guy. Uh, not in Castile though. Because the next war is going to be the Ottomans. So if we can drop those guys in here somewhere. That would be quite nice. No military access. That's good. Military leader left us. Of course. Game hates me. He leaves me so soon. That's way too soon. Say we will get the local autonomy for the negative five unrest. The autonomy in that province alone is not going to bankrupt us. We're still making money, so that's good. Did we mothball the forts? Yes, we did. We're building up with Burgundy. Did we get the um, the achievement from this guys? Yes, we did. Uh, two more percent, and the burgers are going to be happy. That means... How are the Mamluks looking right now? And negative 88. He will learn to love us. He, he, will, he will get that. Especially once we make this guy a vassal. He will love us. Hopefully I'll get the event. Or a event. Where we can get a stability. I will buy these two and just get another one. We'll just see. So far, so good. We're still building up. Uh, we have the ships. We just lack the manpower for our one quest here. Do I want to go for a, an immediate war after this with Granada? Where are you allied to? Morocco. Okay, who hates Morocco in here? No one. Oh, wow. He hates Granada and Tunis. That, he will probably ally Morocco. Dalmechen we can use, but once we get the uh, Iberian wedding, we'll get some claims on Dalmechen. Dalmechen or whatever. Yeah, we don't necessarily need an alliance with them right away. And he hates the Ottomans, which is just great. We can insult the Ottomans later, but that doesn't really help us. So this, uh, this spy network construction is going to be absolutely great. 14%. Uh, too few troops there. Okay, let's just move my calf back then. I do want to make sure that there is progress on the siege. Especially here. I just want to vassalize him. Not losing any ships would be very good. Now, what I did wrong... Um, 
considering last time is when I vassalized him, uh, I took this, uh, I took Etten, and I don't want to, but that will probably get uh, Venice to be very, very annoying. So if we take this, we can feed it into Byzantium. We'll get more aggressive expansion, and it does cost us some points. But we'll just see how that will go. Uh, these guys can stay over there. We don't need to move. I want to raid these guys instead of the Byzantiums. Because the Byzantiums will, will be using. I would like to finish this war in this episode though. So negative 64. Wow. Would he attack me? Would he attack me? That is the question. Man, even the Byzanti the, uh, the Constantinople, Constantinople uh, siege is not looking as bad as this one. Whoa, really? Now already? Oh, great. Oh, that is fantastic. Let's get the guy from um, mm, Burgundy back. Yeah, I really want to try out uh, remembering some of these names. We can take them as a vassal shortly. Negative five. Uh, look, I can't... I, mm, I can't take this because my coring ability is not... And I'm not going to take him. I'm not. So we'll wait. We'll wait. We're not taking any money. The second we can take this is the second that we'll piece him out. I don't want this war to be dragging on longer than absolutely necessary. Let's move you guys in here. Maybe that will actually help with just a few, a few percentages. There we go. Negative two still. Oh, okay, so it's not working at all. Okay, then let's actually fine. Let's move them back. So five percent. There we go. He is ready, able, and willing to accept us as their overlord. Mm, yeah, let's set the demands. So he's now our vassal. Great. That's really good. Uh, which also, I think, would help us with the Memlocks at some point. Not right now. Let's move you over there. And um, merge you up. You can stay over there. I would like to get another leader in this army, though. I kind of don't want to be army, uh, leaderless in this fight. Can we take crown land already? No, we cannot. Now, there's going to be some unrest. Look at this. That's the, that's why we want to make sure that we get our stability up. 31,000 Castilians are ready to rise up against us. So, uh, that actually will lower that down. Uh, probably next tick. Not do two at a time. Let's make sure that we know for sure. There we go. No. There you go then. Yeah, it's dying out. So it did cost me some points, which is a damn shame. Let's see. I really need the Memlux in this one. So we'll have to wait until that actually gets going on this. Let's group you guys up. Military strength could be one of those things that he is saying that we lack. Uh, that's a negative 10. Not of the same religion. Neutral attitude. Too many diplomatic relations. He needs to break one of those uh, relations. And I need to get those mercenaries up here. So let's hire some mercenaries. We can actually hire a group of 12. But I want them to be 12 in total. This is just infantry. It has a 3, a three shock uh, general though. That's not bad. Hmm... No general would absolutely be not good right now. I need that. Oh, wow. Holy sh... That's a six shock general. He just had five trips. That's a bit too low. That's a bit too low. We're going to be taking him. We'll move you guys into direction. We'll build you over there. We need four more trips. Yeah, four more trips. Let's see. No province to build them in. Okay, fine. We'll do it over here. There you go. That should be enough. Now, I don't think we'll be in our 60%. Let's take a look. Actually, we will be. Once those troops are done, we're at full, full coring. So, I believe that we now 
have a lot of return core uh, provinces. And I did that already wrong the last time when I declared war on the Ottomans. Let's see, negative 32. Keep improving that relation. I could give them money. And there's the mission for morale of arms. Let's not click it until we actually go to war against the Ottomans. We also need to stop building up. We will build up with the Ottomans. And improve relations with Byzantium later. Once we actually get this alliance. 32%. We send a gift. Wow. You are one tough cookie to crack. We'll wait for it. It's no problem there. Let's move this one out. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for this time. Uh, not the stream, but the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to uh, leave a like on the video. That will help me out a lot. Let me know what you think about this start. And what I've said so far. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.